um, going to be a review based on the Dark Knight movie. Um, I did go to see it this morning at midnight, at the midnight showing, and um, I'm going to play the trailer and I'm going to go um, through the scenes and um, get more in depth with it. Um, and I advise you, uh, this is going to be a spoiler alert. I am going to go to as much detail as I can as possible from what I remember from the movie. No, I didn't sleep through it, but there was a lot of dialogue in it. And uh, uh, there was just a lot of, to capture and, 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 you know, there was a lot of action in it too. So got to keep that in mind. Um, but I uh, just want to say if, if you don't want this to be a spoiler, uh, I recommend you don't watch this video. So uh, let's get into it. All right. Okay, so as you could see this scene here, this scene where you see an explosive. Uh, what's going on here is that they're trying to get to a device which is, I don't know, some kind of efficiency device that gives out energy to uh, to a whole city. Basically it runs on, I'm guessing fossil fuels of some sort. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, you know, I really didn't go to school for it. So but it's some type of energy that gives out energy to an entire city. Um, so they're trying to get to it and break in. As you can see here on the right hand side, it's Bane. And um, his, and then I guess his people helping them, they're all dressed up as cops and stuff to be, you know, um, to fit in with the other police officers. And, um, and he's blowing up just to get into it, uh, to uh, get to that machine. This scene here is the first scene of the movie. If you guys uh, ever went to go see um, Mission Impossible 3 on uh, IMAX, you guys got to see the first um, the first scene of the movie, which is here, where where they're basically uh, capturing a, a Russian scientist that knows how to, I guess, um, use the device they're trying to steal, which is that efficiency power device. Um, so let's move on. So, in these other scenes where you see, um, I guess, the henchmen with ranks, well, they get broken out by Bane. Right here, this scene, um, by Bane. And they give them uh, rifles, as you can see, in this case, AK-47s, um, just to break them out. Uh, this whole city, by this time, the city is all off, uh, like the bridges are collapsed every, so so no one's able to go in or out for the city of Gotham City. This scene um, is also a nice scene, you see Bane here. I really don't remember that scene, but let's move on. And this scene is a scene, this isn't the final scene, there's other scenes where he fights Batman. Uh, in this scene, it's towards the ending, um, he comes back. Um, let's just say he, he gets his back broken in the early um, fights, but he recovers and he comes back and uh, fights Bane. So, good for you, Batman. So you know that, of course. This scene where you see Batman and his bat pod, and you see here um, a guy in a bike um, and all that. This is a hostage in the back of the bike. Um, they're actually, what they did is they go, went to the um, stock, exchange, uh, stock exchange and they're trying to steal money. So when they're stealing the money they need a getaway so they needed like nine minutes so they went wirelessly they were hacking into it and then they were like we don't have enough time to stay here 
and and do this manually so they they wirelessly you know hack the, the the money into their account i'm guessing and they're driving off with hostages on the back of their bikes and um and that's where batman comes in do you think he's coming back now at this point everybody's saying who's this guy who's this guy well, this guy, his name's Blake, and he works for the Gotham City Police Department. Uh, uh, if, if that doesn't give it off, I'll, I'll give it off in the end and let you know who he really is. I don't know. So there's the first scene uh, of the movie where they try to capture the scientists. Um, also, Bane uh, wants to get captured because he's trying to capture the scientist himself um, so right here they hi they hijack a scientist well in this case Bane uh, kidnaps a scientist a Russian scientist what are you? I'm Gotham's reckoning in this scene everybody uh, at least I thought I thought this was Christian Bale but in reality this isn't this isn't Christian Bale. This is some other guy uh, in power, supposedly by Bane, but he's paying him to do his dirty work, I guess, um, to whatever he's doing to the city. And because um, he's paying him, he tells him, um, oh, that um, you think money is what's keeping you alive and this and that. So Bane kills him in this scene, you know. So here we see the bridges collapsing, getting blown up by a Bane's plan. Uh, that scene is the same scene where the bike scene is at. Yeah, that's where they get the hostages. Um, but, you know, he's after Bane on the bikes and everything and all his henchmen. And um, But, you know... Um, at this point, Commissioner Gordon is in the hospital. He was shot in the leg, and um, and he ended up being in a hospital. And in this case, Batman comes back because uh, he's been out of Gotham. Well, ever since Harvey Dent died, he disappeared. He he didn't um, come back to Gotham as Batman. So Batman's been gone for like eight years. So, and this scene is when he actually comes back. And, and this scene is when they're chasing Batman down. He was following the henchmen from the stock exchange. So, but they don't really care um, about Bane and his henchmen. They're just, the guy that um, is holding the response unit just wants to capture Batman. Because he sees that it's more important to capture the vigilante. Here you just see a bunch of chaos. I'm not afraid. I'm angry. So here's another scene. That was another scene. Uh, right here, this scene where you see uh, Batman looks like he's in a cage. Well, he was put. He was set off in an and then like a like a. I guess like a. Like a. How would you say it? He was he was um, talking to Catwoman at the time and um. And Catwoman set a trap for him, for Bane. And um, and and this scene is where he uh, fights Bane. The first scene where he gets his back uh, uh, misplaced and broken. Mr. Wayne. So that's where they fight. And right here. He cracks his um, his mask, and he breaks his back in this scene. And I actually thought this was where, um, because there's a lot of water, I thought this was be the Bat Cave where they fight in. This is actually Bane's lair um, under the sewers and under Gotham City. So, yeah.
So this scene where you see um, um, you know the whole the cargo this is they have like multiple cars of this kind and um and they have the bomb there and it's set off in 24 hours um so they have like this new society going um and whatnot so they're trying to stop the bomb from blowing up so at least batman is and um and all that right here is the standoff between all cops these cops there was a scene on one of the trailers where you know the stadium falls and collapse what happens and 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 of course the the what's it called the, the bridges all at that same time everything's blowing up and they call in every available police unit to go under the sewers of find Bane. And what happens was, Bane wasn't there at the time. So when they were in the sewers, and he pressed the button to blow it up, to blow up Gotham City, all those cops got basically trapped underground. So all the cops were, were underground, and they couldn't, they couldn't um, you know, do anything up in Gotham City. It was all up to Batman. Um... In this case, all the cops were freed, and now they're going to go with the standoff with everybody that was imprisoned. And here you see them fight. This is one of the scenes where you get up. There you see the stock exchange on one of the scenes from the earlier, uh, during the movie, where they, they're stealing the money. And this scene is the same scene where they're trying to take down Batman because he was going after uh, Bane when he stole the, the money from the stock exchange. Um, they trap him in an alley, but little did they know that the that their new uh, his new uh, toy flies and he just flies away and everybody just all the police are like, damn. Remember where you parked? So in this scene where you see the guy falling right here, this is Commissioner Gordon. Uh, they bring him in uh, to Bane's lair and he tries to get away so he falls into this uh, sewer line that leads off to many other, many other um, I guess, main lines of sewers. And uh, he gets shot, and that's how he ends up being in the hospital. And this scene, this is uh, the... Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. This scene is the stadium scene. This right here, where you see it blow up, um, I think um, the mayor was in there. The mayor of Gotham, and he uh, he dies. Here you see Blake, um, which was the the guy from Deception, or Inception. I'm sorry. And this is where he's running towards um, to get Commissioner Gordon, where he's wounded and shot. Here you see um, Catwoman, and this scene would what Catwoman is, she's um she's a maid. Um in this in this case Wayne is just, you know, still in retirement of Batman, of being Batman. And she goes to her his mansion to um not just steal his mother's pearls, but um but to steal Mr. Wayne's uh fingerprints to be used in who knows what. So right here you see Catwoman. At this scene, Catwoman and Batman are trying to they make this deal. So Catwoman's helping Batman out.
in this scene you see Catwoman and Batman fighting and they're just uh, fighting arch enemies of Bane. And in this scene, you see uh, Bane, and he sees Batman that he's back because he had he in the first scene they fought and he dislocated Batman's uh, back, and he was in a prison where he wasn't supposed to escape from, or at least not escape from. Well, yeah, escape from. And then uh, he's really surprised to see Batman back on his feet. Uh, in this scene, he's running to go um, get Commissioner Gordon because Bane set uh, henchmen to get um, people people to kill Commissioner Gordon in the hospital. This is uh, the, one of the first fight scenes for Batman and Bane. This is the same scene where Batman gets his back broken. I have lost my ticket. Your wife said. Uh, and this scene, it's like a ball where um, he goes and dedicates himself to track down um, Catwoman, which is Selena. Mm. How I said um, earlier that uh, she stole his mother's pearls and his fingerprints. But at this point, he retrieves the pearls, his mother's pearls. But at the time when they were in the ballroom dancing, um, or slow motion dancing, um, he ends up taking his uh, ticket. So when he comes out, he's like, oh, uh, I don't have my ticket. And he's all like, well, your, um, your wife said you were taking a cab. So he stole this ticket to get his car. You were taking a cab home. My wife? Don't worry, Master Wayne. Takes a little time to get back in the swing of things. Okay, so that's the end of of what you see here. But there's there's more to it. Um, so this character which if I could find him she was okay this character uh, later in the movie well mostly in the ending he is uh, known as Robin yes I know I wasn't expecting it but he becomes Robin he's he's actually Robin and um Batman finds a way to make himself disappear. Uh, he makes Gotham think that uh, Bruce Wayne's dead, but he's not. Bruce Wayne is not actually dead. He's still alive. But what happens is that he captures that time bomb, which is that that uh, energy thing. And Bane uh, took it from being an energy source for a, for a city and converted it and tweaked it out to being... A time bomb for Gotham that would explode in a radius or a diameter of six miles out. So it would take out pretty much much of Gotham. So uh, Batman doesn't have a lot of time. He comes back to Gotham from being recovered from his um, from his back, and he um, he uh, starts um, to uh, to find the bomb. He gets the bomb and takes it all the way to the sea, to the ocean. And what happens is, uh, I'm guessing he puts it in an autopilot, and it blows up. Everybody at this point thinks Batman's dead, but he's not. He's still alive. And um, and he just announces that he's dead, but he's he's not. And, um, and puts Robin in charge now. Uh, gives him a location to go. Uh, all, everything is being sold at this point because of his announcement of Bruce Wayne being dead. Um, his house and his property are, are sold. 
um, all his stuff that was in the mansion are sold and and at this point um, most of the stuff was gone to Alfred which was his butler and then he comes into place and he's all like um, he's all like I'm looking for something named under Blake he's like yeah there's nothing here and then he's all like um, maybe check under this name gives the girl a paper and he's all like oh I like that name and then I like Robin and states that his name, his full name is Robin. And um, and he had a package for him. And I'm guessing is everything, the location he goes to and finds the Batcave where it all started, where he became Batman. And um, so hopefully we get to see another movie. Uh, maybe not directed by Christopher Nolan, but hopefully see a, a Robin movie. Um... What else? Uh, any other key points? Um, there's also the main bad guy, which I don't want to give it off, the real, the real bad guy, but Ra's al Ghul's daughter is actually the bad guy in this movie. She, she really didn't have any major key parts, but it was okay. Mostly what was important was Bane. So... Um, that's all there is to it, you know, and the ending, uh, we find out that Robin, uh, becomes, um, part of this, part of this, uh, story now. Uh, Bruce Wayne gets pronounced dead, but he's really not, so I guess he's just gonna be off the side, and, um, hopefully see another, uh, another, uh, movie, um sometime soon so so yeah that was the video um, if you guys have any questions or something you could always uh, put it on the comment section below so uh, yeah thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy uh, watching Batman Dark Knight Rises